Hey guys, Doug B here. Welcome to Preset of the Week, where I highlight either one of the factory presets or presets created by third-party creators. This week, we're gonna look at one of the current factory presets. Open up your Axe FX3 to preset 24, HBE 100. Let's listen to a little sample. Let's do a brief overview of the HBE. It started when Dave Friedman built an amp called the Marsha. After some pressure from Marshall, he renamed it to the BE-100. BE stands for brown eye, and the 100 signifies that it's a 100 watt amp. It has been described as the ultimate modded plexi. Now based on the limited research that I did, there is no actual HBE-100 amp. The HBE Harry Brown Eye mode is part of the BE100 and switches to an alternate voicing with a preamp triode gain boost. Right now there are a few BE100 heads on reverb. Average asking price is around $3,000. I remember the Friedman amp lineup at the Nashville Guitar Center. Man, I had some serious gas, but the prices kept me away. Well, that and the names. I just could not imagine coming home and telling my wife that I had just bought a pink taco or a dirty Shirley, or a brown eye that has the hairy brown eye mode. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I don't have to worry about that anymore. I just tell her that I'm working on Friedman's. This preset has six scenes. The HBE V1, HBE V1 Fat, HBE V2, HBE V3, HBE 2010, and HBE C45. Each scene name matches the amp that is used in that scene. It uses 12 blocks besides in one and out one. Wah, phaser, drive, amp one, amp two, cab, chorus, flange, delay, multi-tap delay, rotary, and reverb. Only five of the blocks are active, leaving the wah to be activated when you move expression pedal one, and the phaser, drive, chorus, flange, multi-tap delay, and rotary blocks are activated via switches on a foot controller. Now let's take a look at each individual block. The wah block uses the Clyde type. The phaser uses the classic vibe type. The drive uses the T808 OD. Amp 1 uses the Friedman HBE V1 in channel A, the Friedman HBE V1 Fat in channel B, the Friedman HBE V2 in channel C, and the Friedman HBE V3 in channel D. And in Amp Block 2, we have the Friedman HBE 2010 in channel A and the Friedman HBE C45 in channel B. The cab block is using two cabs from the Legacy Bank, Legacy number 60 and Legacy number 61, the 4x12 Fractal Greenback M160 and the 4x12 Fractal V30 AT4047. The chorus block is using the analog stereotype, the flange block is using the analog stereotype, the delay block is using the stereo tape type. Multi-tap delay is using the quad tap delay. Now, as you know, in rotary, there aren't any actual types. There's just settings. So these are the settings for the rotary block. And the reverb block uses the medium room type. Now for this video, I'm using a backing track provided by Elevated Jam Tracks, which I hope will keep me out of copyright claim trouble. I'll put a link in the description. What I'm going to do is I will step through each of the scenes in the preset and I will label them on the video.
So there you have it, guys. The Friedman HBE100 may have a uh, questionable name, but that Marshall on steroids vibe redeems it big time. What a great sounding amp. Now this Friday, we're gonna talk about using a MIDI controller with the Axe FX3. And you don't wanna miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you on Friday.